This is Salamanzer, you're watching Sal TV, and I'm going to go ahead and recast the game. It's already been done, just because the scout has a tattoo. That's pretty much the only reason we are casting this game today. That is actually YZ50 with the tattoo thing going on, so of course, uh, uh, he is awesome. He's also apparently been playing a lot of MVM, because as you can tell, he's got the little uh, heavy head hanging off of his... Come on! Come on! Off of his scattergun. Sorry, my... Uh, Ooh, oh my god, my, my third person camera here is awful, and it's really, I, I really wish it could like change angles just slightly so I could look down a little bit more, but I can't. It's just going to focus right above his head, and thus it is very difficult to actually see that robot head hanging off of the scattergun. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the game now <laughs> that I'm shoutcasting. It's going to be super important. Uh, it is going to be Space Whales versus Leviathan Gaming. So yes, this has already been casted on X Television. If you have watched it there, there is probably no need to watch it here again, but there was some popular demand for me to cast this and so I said okay well we'll go ahead and do that and what is going on something interesting already which is that a wild Furby aka Mezer that is Mezer right there decided to set his sentry up in a really weird spot here um, and of course I don't see where LG is right now looks like they are trying to pressure a sniper back away from A so they have jumped into A they're starting to get a capped here and pretty soon they will have that done the question is is this sentry going to stay in here that is so weird. There's a trap right there. So the LG players may look up. They might see that trap. Walk into the sentry. This is going to be weird. Okay, I really want to see what happens here. Uh, where is Mezzer right now? Mezzer, 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 Mezzer. There we go. Okay, so he's busy setting up a teleporter back behind the ramp. <clears throat> Let's get that nice little... Uh, okay, he decided not to set a teleporter after all. Sentry. All right, we get to watch the sentry now. And it does look like there might be some players going through um, Shade and Raw Dog. It's Blood, uh, Blood Sire. I'm sorry. Both do get knocked out there. And I don't think they have actually spotted the sentry yet, but they might pretty soon if Banny walks up this ramp over here or something. Looks like he's actually... Oh, okay. He's helping uh, take down a teleporter first. So I apologize for the third-person camera work today. I really want to watch what happens with this. Oh, no, he packed it up! Ugh! Oh! All right, well, anyway. So Shade actually did drop an Uber there. I was so concerned about that uh, engineer play that I missed it. Um, and it looks like the sentry might actually go down. Mezer set the sentry up, and it just barely survived... That, for the moment, it does have a good amount of HP as it was still building when it was being shot, so it does re regenerate some of that. Sentry is still alive, but for how long? Uh, Mezer is going to spawn another six seconds, but I think the Sentry is going to get taken out. Oh no! Dave killing himself on top of that. Banny getting taken out on top of the roof. The whales are actually going to defend this, and I don't think the Sentry is going to get taken out. So already, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little bit hyperventilating here, as this is going to be an awesome match. Um, and I did watch some of it live, so I kind of know what to look for in terms of certain plays that may happen later on. It's going to be awesome. Boomer standing up here on top of the roof right now. I did not actually get to see this first round happen at all. So I did not notice this ragdoll just kind of lying down on the job up there. But Boomer is going to be trying to hold the roof for as long as he can without dying. Um, of course, he will drop back, try to get some heals from his med if possible. So you can jump back up there and play that roaming soldier. I think roaming. Uh, maybe Blaze is actually roaming. I'm not sure. But Boomer aiming some good rockets right now on the med. He does force the pop early out of shade. And now he will try to retreat just a little bit into the waiting arms of his loving medic, Soup. Soup actually playing medic for this game as uh, they do have... Let me see. Who do they replace here? Because it's going to be... Um, well, who is in this guy? It's Mezer and YZ50 right now, so they just decided to drop Soup back to... I think he's a backup at this point, so there have been some roster changes. Um, but YZ50 taking down Shade underneath the ramp right there, going up towards point C. So Soup, the only medic left alive. He and Boomer are going to try and hold this point for as long as possible. Boomer does take down Banning with a good jump into him, being nice and aggressive. But you see what the player's doing, and oh no, it's a little bit too late. As Dave AC jumps in to finish them both off. Um, what they were trying to do was get out of that situation so they did not lose their own lives and they could have re-pushed back in if they managed to get away, but they can't now. Of course, uh, they are going to be respawning in another five seconds, and we do have a scout pushing into pressure. That is probably going to be YZ50, along with Dummy, one of the world's greatest demo men, and he may be a little bit underrated, actually. Um, and I do hear from a lot of the guys that the Space Whales are one of the teams that practices the least out of uh, any of the top four invite teams, but they are definitely one of the top four. I want to go ahead and point that out, that they have consistently been to lands, um, haven't won too many of them, but they've consistently been there and destroyed people, so it's always awesome to watch. Dummy is going to lay down a couple sticky traps. He does realize that the blues are coming from this direction, but that trap is not going to do anything other than delay his opponents a little bit. And here comes a Kritzkrieg right now that we totally completely forgot about. Uh, so far, not hitting a lot of stuff, and Shade does get taken down. Dummy with the kills on the enemy medic, and that is going to shut down that Kritzkrieg completely. They've still got Boomer standing up there as the heavy. Boomer enjoys his off-classing as much as anyone, and Dummy taking down Sizer, a nice kill. Um, 
Bloodsire is now down as well. And do bear in mind, Leviathan Gaming having some serious roster change-ups. Uh, Tyrone not able to jump in and get that kill on Dummy either. Uh, LG having some roster change-ups. So Clockwork is not here, and the Heavy running around with that frying pan now, just having some fun, having the time of his life. Um, you see Clockwork is not on the team anymore. And so they've had to replace him with currently with Bloodsire. I think that's going to be a temporary thing. Uh, and then they've got Dave AC back on the roaming soldier role again. I think Mackie was really just kind of there for I-46. He will be back uh, back to not playing more TF2, I think. I, I don't know. Uh, Soup does have his Uber ready to go, so he is going to be able to help defend this point for a little while. And they'll want to probably jump their soldiers up here pretty soon to try and stop the capture. It seems like the Heavy is dead right now, and so he does pop that Uber. Uh, going to start walking up here pretty soon, but it looks like a lot of his players are dying. Doesn't find anybody to actually Uber up here. So he will, uh, they did just have a very long pause right there, not sure why, but uh, he tried to find somebody up there, could not find him to heal him, and now he gets taken out, uh, Shade just popping his over here, he wants to get a crossbow kill, actually gets the hit on the scout, he's going for the kill, can he get it though? No, I don't think he will, I think that scout is going to retreat for now, Boomer jumping up and taking out Sizer on defense, Shade going for the kill, no! Not going to happen. So just a barely, you know, skin of their teeth defense here by the whales. They still have some high ground advantage and very good prediction there by Boomer, knowing exactly how long it was going to take for that scout to jump up. Scout tries to jump up with the Boston Basher. Not able to make the jump happen, though. That was Bloodsire trying to use a creative little scout play, but it did not work for him, and so he is now down. Um, and now Mezzer is kind of hanging out in the wings, waiting for somebody to jump in and try to go after that point again. But it looks like maybe, no, I was thinking LG might try to slow it up a little bit here. But they've actually almost got their Uber. They really should not be wasting players here. I'm not sure why Sizer went in and suicided. Um, oh, no, they're, they don't, never mind. Okay, they don't have their, their Uber anywhere close. It's just the uh, standard HUD is broken. All right. Cool. I hope that gets fixed pretty soon. Uh, anyway, no, LG is going to be pushing in very shortly here. He's pretending to call for Uber Charge, so we are going to have to watch Shade here until he gets the Uber. That The, the suicides were perfectly well-timed by LG because they did not have an Uber yet. They didn't want to push in. They want to try to make something happen without um, putting their medic at risk. Now they can push in, and we are probably going to be watching as Tyrone might take some of this, uh, or Banny, depending on who has the better overheal as they start walking in. Tyrone will start taking some heals from his med, and I think they want to push in with the Uber. Uh, it sounds like Boomer is down, and so Banny might take some of this in. But why are they still waiting with this Uber? I'm, I'm so confused. Maybe it's because Soup has one as well. Uh, yeah, they are. They're trying to wait out Soup here, and they will do that. So Soup is jumping in with the Uber. That Uber is almost completely wasted. They take down Tyrone, and uh, Banny will probably start taking the rest of this Uber in along with Dave AC. They are pushing from this left-hand side. They're uh, now popping the Uber, and they will try to get Banny to jump, I think, to the Spire. I would, I think, no, maybe not. He's actually just going to stay down on the low ground, lay stickies on the high ground, and uh, challenge his opponents to jump up there. This is a very good idea. You see a lot of his friends jumping up and using his artillery support to, uh, to stay up there. Good pipe by Banny, though. He's going to want to walk up, I think. Um, try to get up on top. He's taking a lot of damage, though, and uh, the, the whales do know that he has. Sadly, my HUD is just completely broken. We're going to have to watch up here what is happening right now. A lot of red players up here to defend this point, so uh, LG having some trouble. But uh, Bloodsire jumps in, gets the kill, and he's so close to capping it right now. A good kill by Banny from the, uh, the Sticky Bomb that he launched up there, and that is going to be it, finally. Um, you do see Soup there jumping after Shade, wanting to get that kill. But come on, HUD. we we got to figure this out, okay? So uh, let's work with me here, HUD. Anyway, that was a 7 minute 21 second capture time for Levi uh, yeah, for Leviathan Gaming. And so now we get to see whether the Space Whales can beat that or whether they will fall flat. And uh, I know you like the rhymes. I know that they are your favorites. But that's, that's pretty much the whole point right now, guys, is we need to watch uh, whether Space Whales can cap all three points in that time. What just happened? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I saw that. I have to see inside the medic's head for a little while there. I guess it's gone now, though. And wow, this scout just looks so... Uh... Okay, well, we missed that. Whatever. <laughs> it was pretty hot, not going to lie. Uh, YZ50 actually on the sniper right now, so I think that was Mezzer's scout loadout. Meanwhile, Bloodsire is hanging out on the sniper right next to spawn. Um, and you do see this happen quite a bit. He's, he's going to be playing a boring round for a little while here. Uh, so we're probably going to have to watch and see what the Space Whale decided to do first. Which, they're probably going to play at standard to go after point A first. And so, uh, Bloodsire, thinking that, he is standing out there waiting for, um, basically waiting for somebody to walk through the C connector. So if somebody walks through here, then Bloodsire may be able to snipe them from spawn. And that's the whole point. Uh, point A is getting captured right now. Dummy walking out. And he does get popped in the face there by a quick scope actually. So, uh, Bloodsire was not zoomed in, but he does get the shot off on YZ50. And now, oh, Dummy walking straight 
into... I'm not sure what is going on here with the, uh, the crossbows. Apparently Soup is really bored. But Dummy was walking straight into that sentry gun, which is set right here. It's a fairly standard location for a sentry, especially when you're playing against Sizer. Sizer on Engineer likes to put that sentry there. Um, so Dummy, you know, walked straight into it, not realizing it was there. Got killed. And so LG didn't really take a lot of damage there on defense. But this is standard. Um, still six and a half minutes left to go for the whales to try and capture two points. And that is plenty of time. So we are going to see whether they can manage to do that. Banny's got a nice large sticky trap above that long entrance. They uh, they really want to shut down any play coming through this way. And oh, taking down Blaze right away already. That's a good entry pick. In comes a, uh, an Uber on Dummy. And Dummy's going to try and take down the sentry. But that thing needs a lot of damage. It's going to be missing Shade right here. Shade does not have to, uh, not have to worry about taking too much hits at the moment. He's almost got his Uber back up. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure when he popped that. I completely missed it because I'm an idiot. So maybe the suicides actually did force uh, an uber pop. But uh, the space whales are not able to take advantage of that as Shade does now have his uber. And Banny getting a kill on YZ50. We've got Dummy uh, overheal right now, but he is going to get in some trouble here, taking a lot much, uh, a lot more damage than his medic can ever heal. Blaze wants to jump back into spawn, and he will manage to do just that. Where is Soup is the question. And he is actually back on point A, hiding right now. Uh, he could get chased down here, but actually I don't think LG want to do that. They would give up point B if they try to chase him. So he will be safe for now. Just a tiny bit of an uber advantage. And they have to push this fast. they got to be really careful about who they push against as well. Because it's going to be fairly clear at this point that they are pushing in this direction. Blaze gets a kill on Dave AC, though. That is a good early pick. Uh, where is Blaze right now? He plays so smart, like, all the time. So, yeah, he is in. Got that early kill. Trying to spam the sentry gun down. Of course, sentry will stay alive for now. Uh, we'll see the kill feed the moment it goes down. It'll tell you. Just be watching that top right side of your screen for when things happen. But uh, here on Gravel Pit, it's all about taking down the sentry and getting a bunch of kills. And right now, the sentry, where is it? Oh, Sizer's down. The engineer is gone. So that sentry is going to be vulnerable. Uh, he cannot pick it up or defend it or anything. And now both teams do pop the Uber. Um, actually, Leviathan pops theirs just a little bit earlier. Dispenser pick. So important, as DJC will tell you. Another awesome TF2 caster. And there goes the sentry. It was only at level 1, so it actually did get taken out there. Uh, maybe it just missed the kill feed for a little while, but uh, looks like some pressure goes into Soup. Dave getting a good kill on that med, and now YZ50 trying to clean up the rest of them, but no, it looks like there's, there's action all over the place, and I do apologize. We are watching some crazy stuff happening. Scout battles everywhere. Mezzer is trying to escape. He's inside right now. Can he get the kill? No! <laughs> Oh, Bloodsire kills himself there. No, Dummy killed him. Okay, Bloodsire did a lot of damage to himself with that Boston Basher. Kind of hilarious. Well, we do see Leviathan Gaming now standing back on defense. Um, and they've got four minutes left to hold two points, which is starting to look a little bit better for them. Uh, as that was a successful hold, despite the fact that they lost their Engineer. And you'll notice they did not bring another Engineer up. So it is going to be a two-scout defense now. Oh my god, Bandy getting so many sticky traps, though. And he's doing so much damage right now to the blue team, uh, everybody else just has to clean this up at this point. I mean, that makes the rest of the team's job so much easier when you can get that many pipes and an entry frag so early. So Banny, once again, showing his stuff here on Demo Man. Um, and you'd think the whales would learn their lesson after one or two traps, but it's just constantly, like, Banny has the sticky traps shutting them down. And it's working so well. Bloodsire getting p pressured into spawn right now. He will switch back off to Sniper, and he is a good Sniper. Um, I have not casted many of Bloodsire's games because he was kind of before my time, but uh, but Bloodsire is an ex exceptional sniper, taking down Dummy once again, and that is going to matter so much right now. He's actually going for the kill on Soup, too, who is actually uh, displaying his own body on that scope for a little while, so I almost got that. Uh, crits versus Uber situation, and we know what's going to happen there. Soup gets taken out right away. Uh, critical damage, you know, times three. Well, what's three times zero? Doesn't matter. Uh, invulnerability trumps crits every time, as long as they are facing each other like that. Uh, the only benefit to crits is if you can actually get that crits built up before your enemy has the Uber. And so, uh, Bloodsire quite happy about helping take down that push, given the... Uh, <laughs> Given the, the angry face to YZ50, who is, I gotta tell you, YZ50 is one of the most chill people you will ever meet. Uh, he does not take anything seriously. He likes to, let's see, where is he? Where is he? There we go. He does like to make fun of people, um, but he's always doing it in jest, he says. Oh, I just realized I was still recording all that. Okay, well, whatever. I'll, I'll cut it out eventually. Um, so YZ50, yeah, an exceptionally chill dude. Who he likes making fun of people, but it's always it's always joking. Like he's never uh, too serious about like the things that he says. So it's always funny to hear him. Uh, of course, he makes fun of me for really enjoying my uh, my what was it like Whataburger apple pie. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna skip that story. <laughs> um, as Leviathan Gaming here still defending 
properly and holding it out. They do lose shade, though, and that's going to be fairly important. Uh, well, look at that hiding spot from Bloodsire, though. He's just waiting, and nobody has noticed he's here. I love Bloodsire's play. This guy is so amazing. As far as we said, he's just waiting for Soup to come in. He goes for the kill, forces an early pop on the Uber. Bloodsire is a smart, smart player of TF2, apparently. Um, he's got all these weird, crazy hiding spots. There's all kinds of stuff. And apparently I did miss some pyro play earlier. Uh, so I apologize for that. But we are going to watch Bloodsire on that pyro eventually. I promise you. Um, he does some awesome stuff on pyro. So do stay tuned for that. YZ50 hanging out and trying to cap right now. But really, Leviathan Gaming, they just have to back up and defend last for a minute. So it's really just time for one push. They only have to defend one push. Make it proper here. Uh, they've got a sentry up right now. They've got the choke point spammed and so holding this side a very good idea because it does force um, a lot of damage to come in already Mezzer is down the uber does get popped and they're going to try and use this to pressure into the whales so the whales are backing way the heck up and they've got a little bit of time here but they got to make sure soup stays alive if they cannot keep soup up okay so they do keep soup up that is a good thing um no, yeah, if they couldn't keep soup up, then this this would just be completely over. So, Leviathan Gaming still having a very good defense. So, they've got that heavy up there. They've got a sentry. I think LG will probably hold this. They're going to have to try and jump a soldier up into the waiting arms of a heavy, or the waiting bullets, really. A uh, soldier does get up there, but he loses it to a sticky trap. Uh, Banny does have this place on lockdown. 18 seconds left, and the heavy is still defending properly. It's going to be Bloodsire on heavy. He's going to have to watch out for the Uber coming in. And enemy... Uh, Oh, dummy dive bombing in too. So there's a bunch of players up here, and this is actually really close. Can Leviathan Gaming hold on to this? It looks like Sizer will get the kill on the medic, and that means that there is nobody left here to cap. That is going to be good round for Leviathan Gaming. All right, two pipe and now two flare. Apparently we did miss a pyro kill, so I, I do apologize. But yeah, um, pyro, extremely useful in 6v6 in certain situations. So we will see some useful situations for that. We can discuss it all we want. Um, Sizer setting up the sentry gun. And we'll see, um, well, Bloodsire once again on the sniper. So we're just going to be checking him out as uh, Bloodsire is pretty much the name of the game today. Uh, he is like a backup for Leviathan Gaming, but we'll be we'll <laughs> showing his stuff off here. And yeah, like I said, um, if you did watch the game, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and, and you're pretty much just listening to my voice because you like listening to my voice. If you have not watched this game yet, uh, then you, you've missed it live, which I do apologize for. It probably has been uploaded to youtube.com slash comft as well, which is the XTV site. Excuse me. I did not cast it live, so that's why I'm doing it now. But yeah, this LG game was absolutely incredible. We've got uh, Raw Dog aiming down that scope right now. Oh no, actually he's not. He's, uh, he's trying to keep a wide angle. Um, and frankly, he wants to do that to make sure he doesn't get spotted here too bad. Misses the shot on, I think that was Boomer? Maybe Blaze. Hang on. Yeah, it is Boomer. Boomer bringing out this um, direct hit. And the reason he wants to do that is because he's looking for the sentry gun, taking down a dispenser at the very least with it. Um, we are going to watch Bloodsire as he tries to take out a scout here. And gets a shot off. Doesn't get the kill, though. Uh, now point B is getting capped as well, and Bloodsire decides to change back to his good old standard scout class. Wazzy 50 meanwhile helping pressure Shade out. Soup still has 100% Uber actually, so this could be a very fast round. Uh, Soup is just kind of waiting here in the wings in his own spawn area for the rest of his team to get ready. They can push in any time they want pretty much uh, within the next 40 seconds, and they will have a huge Uber advantage against Shade. They, uh, they, you know, time is of the essence. The faster you cap a point, the better it is. Wazzy 50 still kind of uh, making faces at Blood Sire, so those two I think probably have a long history together. Um, Leviathan Gaming trying to do some spam from the high ground right now, but they know they're going to have to fall out against this Uber. And good damage coming in from Dummy right now. He's aiming those sticks like a boss. Tyrone doing some damage as well, just trying to keep the rest of uh, Space Whales backed away. Whale, I'm sorry, YC50 is down right now. Whale's losing wha uh, YC50. I, I keep wanting to just call him Whale because I'm an idiot. Um, and LG now are backing away. There were a lot of hurt players on the Space Whales, but of course they could pop that Uber at any time, and they have done that. They're going to have to back away now. Uh, but they will probably get B... Uh, they should get B-capped. Why aren't they getting B-capped? Um, I guess they didn't have any scouts behind to actually do the capturing. And now Leviathan Gaming can push back in with an Uber. They will do just that, taking down Blaze right away. This is a very good defensive play, potentially from LG, as long as they can get the kills. They've got to get Stoop down. And Tyrone spots him. He's going to jump in straight after him right now. Go for the kill! Can't get it! Mezzo defends him properly, and Banny can't even do it either, so LG's starting to lose a lot of players here. Uh, Bloodsire getting the Engineer kill with that pistol. 
Going for another one as well, but not able to uh, quite finish it off. Um, he's probably got a sentry set up somewhere, though, maybe behind the point, and it does help uh, do a lot of damage to this team. So single-handedly pot potentially saving his team again. Um, is he going to hang on? Yeah, so that is his sentry back here. He's actually decided that they want to reset this defense possibly, but no, the sentry does get taken down. Uh, at this point, I think the whales should probably have this. And yeah, Bloodsire is going to try and retreat. He, oh, just takes too much damage and does die, though. Dave gets taken out as well. So now the Whales actually do, I think, have another push to put together here. This is such scrappy play from these invite teams, though. Um, you don't normally see a re-push by both teams going as weirdly as this has. LG has put a lot of extra time on the clock, but Shade is down. And I think that the Space Whales might be able to hang on. Somebody said, nice shot for Banny. We need to, we need to check that out. Okay, just found Banny, and we're going to see what that nice shot was all about. I'm going to start laying some pipes down here. And... Oh! Okay, so that was a nice shot that we had just barely missed. Takes out Boomer with a beautiful pipe there. And so he will be retreating, getting those fadeaway kills. Let's try and reset that HUD just a little bit. There we go. Um, sounds like a medic is taking a little bit of hits, but not a lot. Banny will be laying down some sticky traps there as well, just to delay the Space Whales a little bit. But the Space Whales do, once again, have an Uber advantage. And uh, I think they are going to try and push with that pretty soon. Uh, Blaze actually might take some of this Uber as well. You look at that, he's 300 health right now. Um, he may actually be playing Pocket. I'm, I'm, I am so confused right now as to whether Blaze or um, his fellow soldier there, Boomer, are Pocket. Because I haven't seen Boomer taking a lot of heals this game, and maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Um, but right now, the Whales just own the C point here, and there is no question LG was not able to defend that. Three minutes and 25 seconds, and so the Life and Gaming, that repush bought them a little bit of time, but I, it's going to be tough for them to try and, uh, and cap this fast. So, what is the defense going to look like for the Space Whales? No engineers. No off-classing at all, in fact, from either team. This is a, a rather strange way to play, as usually you do see... Uh, I'm sorry, my, my chair here is so squeaky. But usually you do see at least one off-class, one engineer or something like that to defend at this point B. It is such a, a turtle-friendly point. But uh, I guess they are going to try and go for the measure on the roof strategy here. Um, taking, I guess just taking the high ground and um, using mobility for defense instead of using a sentry gun or heavy or whatever. Uh, we do have Bloodsire on the pyro and he's got such an awesome pyro loadout. Look at that. Look at that. Just hanging out with all kinds of masks and hats on. That is a. Uh, that's gotta be hot in that suit. But it looks like he decided not to actually go pyro. Too bad. Would have been fun to watch. Um, so it looks like the scouts. I mean, if there had been a sticky trap there, they would have been screwed. There's just there's no doubt. But the uh, scouts are gonna jump out here and start immediately going to cap A. Meanwhile, there's probably gonna be a dive bomb in against the whales. Uh, we are going to see some some attempts against the medic very soon and the medic is just hanging out back here normal positioning but there is no sentry to defend him so it's all about whether the scouts and his teammates can defend him and whether uh, they have to call it out really early they have to figure out which way their enemies are coming from so are they going to come through A well they've got Boomer sitting here and watching right now to see whether they do um, so that that's exactly what they need they need that information they need to know if their enemies are coming this way then they need to know it early so they can get their medic in a nice defensive position and just buy a lot of time, force the enemies to pop that uber first. Um, these sticky traps are interesting. I wonder if Dummy's actually going to get anything with this as who is coming this way. It looks like uh, maybe the blue team wants to yeah, we'll just walk in. I I like this. I like the sticky traps. I want to see if LG actually falls victim to this, and it looks like they just might. No! Tyrone not hit by those. The explosion's not clipping against that uh, stairwell properly. So... Sadly, it was a good sticky trap, and of course useful in pubs or whatever, but just did not quite work out that time around. Uh, so LG, they have a shot. They've only lost one player here, um, and we do have Blaze probably going to die against the wall. Tyrone taking him down. So uh, they were kind of playing a game of chicken there, and Tyrone won that one. But Space Whales, they've still got a decent defense set up here. They've got to defend against a, uh, a couple of scouts pushing in right now. Sizer being the more fearsome, potentially, of the two. And there goes Banny. That's a pretty big pick, as he uh, will be able to lay down a lot of damage when he's still alive. So right now, not able to do that. Boomer is going to be hanging out with the med at the moment. Um, what is he using, though? Is he using... No, just... Yeah, he is using the gunboats. So I got to say, I think Boomer is actually playing Roamer. Um, with Blaze probably on pocket. Boomer trying to take down this scout, but no, it looks like Soup is gone. And so uh, that's, that's the problem with not having a shotgun. Boomer cannot defend the medic properly. That's why he's probably playing Roamer, I say that, because normally the Roamer's going to have the gunboats, the Pocket's going to have that shotgun for extra medic defense, and uh, Boomer's just going to try and escape here. 
get back up to the roof and start laying down some spam. Meanwhile, it seems like the scouts are doing some good damage. And once again, Boomer goes after Banny. He's got his name um, written on every rocket, it seems like, as uh, if he can just keep Banny from surviving, then this match could easily go into the whale's favor. Uh, they're starting to stack the point now, but a nice kill by Mezer, walking out and getting a, a very good uh, reflex kill there on Dave. So now there's actually going to be a repush in towards B just to try and buy even more time. And this this is an interesting idea, but I think it will actually work out. Even if they lose almost all their players, there's not a lot that LG can do at this point. They don't have a medic. And so all that uh, whales have to do is get a player up onto the spire right now, and they should win this. Uh, if they can have one person defending that point, they will be fine. 30 seconds left to go, so LG has time for one push, but it's got to be a very desperate push. And Sizer is going to start getting in there right away. He spots a scout, and the scout spots him. And so there's, uh, there's not a lot that I think these players can do against each other right now. They'll just kind of sit back and buy time. And Sizer doesn't like this because he's got 10 seconds left. He needs to get up on that spire right away and start capping. And I think it's already too late. There is no capture time going down. And so a soldier jumps up just a little bit too late. LG is probably going to lose this round. And there you go. Soldier body blocking the point. There's going to be Space Whales with a win on this round. It is now tied up 1-1. One one, and we're going to see what happens in the final round. All right. Third set. Final round. Whoever wins this one wins the whole thing. And of course, remember that winning a round means you actually have to play both attack and defense for both teams. So it is going to be, uh, it could be long. Or it could be nice and short if it's like a three minute round for each. Uh, you never know. But Boomer is playing Spy right now, and it looks like he is actually going to try and jump. Um, this is such a hard jump to make. I tried doing this, and I've only ever gotten it like twice in my career. Um, but you can actually do exactly what he's doing. Oh, so close! You can get on this tiny little ledge here that where you can just barely clip onto it like he's doing now um, but he can't seem to make the secondary jump where you have to like strafe in the air to get up there so he will back away from that for now um, we do actually see Bloodsire on the pirate spy as well but no he does switch back to scouts and Boomer just cannot decide where he wants to go right now um, gonna take some high ground and maybe watch the enemies as they walk in oh it's gonna be so close can they actually spot him though will he cloak up in time yes he will so scouts are not able to see him here um, and he's going to be maximizing the utility of this cloak. The question is, what's he actually going to do with it? He's, he's watching where the players are going right now. He's disguised as Banny. He's got that Banny mask on, looking so fine. Um, and he's going to walk into the point. Can he actually get a stab on these scouts? They do not notice. He does get Bloodsire right away. Going for the kill here on the second scout as well. <laughs> and Bloodsire's just like, wait a minute. That wasn't Banny at all. So, uh, a hilarious play by Boomer, and actually YZ50 is on the spy now, are you joking? We have a second spy here, please tell me you're actually, no, okay, he's not going to go spy. That would have been so hilarious, um, but he will not go spy here. Banny is down, they're jumping in, but they do force the Uber out of Soup. Soup down to such low health here, so despite the fact that they delayed the capture on A a little bit, uh, they still got A within about 50 seconds and Soup had to pop the Uber. That is not good for the Whale's defense, I gotta tell you. Um, they need to build this Uber nice and fast and have it ready to go. But I think what they realize is, look, we're probably not going to have the Uber in time for Leviathan Gaming to push in. So when LG pushes in, we just want to have a lot of overheals. That's usually how you kind of have to play it. But they are building as fast as possible, 50% already. And if they can force an early Uber out of uh, Shade, then they might be able to keep Soup secure enough. And I think they will. They might actually get the Uber back up in time for the Whales to defend this second point or push back into it if they have to. Uh, Shade taking a bit of damage. He's at 100 health right now, but he will be able to push forward, keeping his team able to secure the point for now. A scout jumping in, but a nice little air shot there from Tyrone. Taking down um, Mezer and YZ50. Both both of the scouts are down now for, uh, for the Space Whales. And Shade has not had to pop that Uber. So I'm pretty sure point B will get captured here unless the Whales make some kind of a desperate push that actually works out. I don't think it'll happen. Um, and so we are going to see this push successful from LG. Actually, let's, let's take a look at the, the dummy cam for a little while. What is he going to do here with the sticky traps? Um, that is going to be super important. Or maybe we can watch Mezer. Mezer, of course, a uh, pretty beast on the pyro sometimes. Boomer up here as a heavy, heavy weapons guy. Um, standing on top of that point, so apologies for, I don't even know where that stupid accent came from, but no, he will be standing up there as a heavy on top of the point, trying to deny jumpers. Meanwhile, we do have Mezer ready to basically just shut down the Uber. That is his whole point here. He's going to try and shut this down, keeping anybody from getting there, and they do keep him Ubered for a little bit too. So he's going to go for the shots on Sizer and does take him down before he gets killed. And, and you do see the players focusing that pyro. They do not want to keep a pyro on the field. So 
Um, of course, people say, well, you know, Pyro, like, it's not that viable because it's so easy to kill. And while that may be true in certain situations, it is one of the t classes that's also focused the hardest. Because if you don't kill the Pyro, he's going to shut your team down. And, of course, Shade is now gone. So Banny's jumping in towards the med. Cannot quite get the kill. Soup's still at a relatively high amount of health. And Bloodsire now just kind of hanging out in the wings. Um, sounds like Sire's just having a little scout battle. But he does get taken down, and Bloodsire is going to retreat here. Just poking at his opponents as much as possible. I am so hungry right now. I don't think I've eaten anything all day. Uh, but I had to cast this game because it was an awesome one. And, uh, of course, I've got a bunch of homework to do as well. As well as documentary work. Um, that documentary is kind of chugging along, although some of our footage has been severely misplaced. Um, but it's not the primary footage, so we don't have a problem there. Dummy getting a huge sticky trap, though. Taking down Sizer and Dave AC. Now Banny's gone as well. Um, and the Uber actually coming in here. This is an interesting choice by the Whales. Um, I guess they probably got the Uber forced. Now that I think about it. Um, they were probably forced there. Shade does have an Uber advantage. So that's why there were so many people dead there, I think. Because they did dive bomb in after soup and get the kill. Probably a good play by LG. Um, and I missed it, so sadly, I feel like a moron. But uh, they do have a Chris Creek. They're going to have it ready to go, and I think they'll take it in on Banny, assuming that Banny does not die to that sticky trap that Dummy laid down earlier. Um, getting in through these choke points, always a difficult thing to do. Sounds like Sizer's down already, though, and that means not as much cover for this, the uh, eventual Chris Creek as it comes in. Banny's going to lay down some sticks over there just to try and make a... Make his opponents think he's going that way, but no, he is actually going to come in through this side. Will this, the uh, Crits Krieg do its damage? Soup is at 70, almost 80% Uber now. And already a, a very quick body shot coming out of Mezzer to take down Tyrone right away. The uh, Crits Stickies are coming out, and Bandy will actually jump up, lay a Crits Sticky down in front of himself just to try and help capture this. But the Heavy Weapons guy is going to chase him down. Sadly, uh, Boomer not able to get a kill there as now Dave AC gets taken out by a jumping soldier. So Blaze knew exactly when to jump in there to take down a player or two. Uber popped now by Soup. So he did manage to hold onto it. And I am getting just excited enough to once again be maybe hyperventilating possibly. I don't know. Um, but Dummy's going to jump in and start laying down some damage against Banny. And he's got to be careful here as, as these two demos are, of course, both very good. Dummy does not have a medic on him. And so that's a severe disadvantage in that situation. Shade almost has a crit once again. And... Um, they're really going to shut this down. So Mezzer thinking, okay, let's try and snipe. Let's try and take down this Crits Creek as it comes in. Which way does it come in, though? That's the question. He spots Banny, so he knows. He knows where that Crits Creek is coming in. He knows which way to aim to try and take down the med. And he's, he's going to go for Shade. Doesn't quite get him. That means the Crits Creek is coming in. But no, Dummy takes down Shade. So Crits Creek is now over. Soup will not have any problem against that. What he will have a problem against is all these jumping soldiers. Um, and, and the scout coming in after him as well. So I think LG might actually get this. There is a scout up here. YZ50 doing his best to defend this. But he's taken down. And now Mezzer comes in to get the defense so every little bit of time they can buy here is great lg bringing blood sire up though and he will finally probably get the capture yes he will five minutes and 44 seconds and uh now of course lg all they have to do is defend all three points for the time on the clock 544 and that will secure them the game um question is are we going to watch the blood sire cam the entire round and i'm pretty sure you know the answer because uh, I have been talking this up all game. Bloodsire was absolutely awesome to watch. He knows his defense on Gravel Pit. So, uh, as far as whether he actually defended, I don't remember. Um, I don't even remember who won the game anymore, now that I think about it. So, I, I do know that he had some good moments, and everyone was like, oh man, Bloodsire. But, the saying that... Um, there's plenty of time on the clock for the whales, and I seem to recall the whales doing quite well this round as well. So uh, we're going to keep it on the Bloodsire cam, but I don't want to spoil who wins because I don't actually know. Um, all right, so Bloodsire is doing the same thing he did in that first round, as you recall, which is just kind of hanging out at spawn, waiting to see, you know, once the enemies come in from, uh, from point A, what he can do about this. And so we are going to keep our camera snapped to him so I can just click on him as soon as we need to. Um, the whales are going to send in Mezzer and there's YZ50 as well and they're going to go for the capture on the point A. Nobody coming through point C right now so there's there's no uh, there's nothing for him to shoot just yet. We will see if anybody eventually does that but Boomer tried to go in towards uh, Tyrone on point B. Actually probably towards Shade as we see here. Over on point B. Um, and I can put my camera through walls but of course players cannot go through walls themselves. But uh, here on point B, there is a nice little sentry location set up for LG, so you got to like that. And then you've got Bloodsire back on C, just waiting for somebody to walk through A. 
So he, of course, is an excellent sniper. He's probably going to be zooming in per pretty soon here. Now, um, what he can see that we can't is he can actually see the entrance over here as well. Um, my view model, the, the sniper thing here, the, the actual weapon, he probably has that turned off. So he can see everything, um, whereas we are kind of stuck <laughs> staring at his sniper rifle. So not the most interesting thing to happen, actually. The, um, there you go. He will finally take a look, and he does spot a scout going to the right. So he knows he's going to get pressured, but he takes him down! YZ50 thought he had gotten in for free, thought maybe nobody would spot him, but no. Bloodsire was just like, yeah, I know your tricks. I know your tricks. And he swaps to Pyro. So thinking about maybe taking the uh, the teleporter, or maybe just defending the teleporter with the flare gun. And he's going to start trying to light people on fire, maybe get some reflect kills, who knows. But he immediately lights Soup on fire, and actually... No, okay, he did not get that secondary hit on Soup. Um, that would have actually been really close to killing the guy. Um... But he's going to start trying to take some some flare shots here. And he does light a bunch of players on fire. Lighting two in a row. You know, um, oh, very close to hitting that one as well on Boomer. And he hits him. He actually hits the flare. Boomer gets taken out there. Apologies for the shitty camera work. But Boomer taken out by a flare kill from our, our beast pyro here. Bloodsire. And Bloodsire, of course, known for being a really good off-class. Just a really good player of TF2 in general. Still launching those flares in. And still, uh, he's actually supporting his team there who did uber into the enemies. He's going to try and go for another headshot. You do see some action going on over there, but Bloodsire, once again, going for the kills. No, he's going to have to back off. I do apologize. Um, and now the uh, teleporter exit is getting upgraded, so he really could take that if he wanted to, but he's just going to defend it. Oh, so close to this flare kill, but uh, at least he's keeping himself alive, and that's what he has to do here. Um, fighting against the scout as a pyro is so hard, but he does take down YZ50 with the flare gun, using the critical hits to the burning players, and now going to continue his pressure against the Space Whales. Um, it's surprising. Usually you can try to camp somebody in here, but Dummy is now taken down. There's only three players really effectively over in that hole, that, that choke point area. And Bloodsire sees his opportunity. He's actually going to start sneaking in behind them. Will he get the kills, though? He spots nobody's seen him. He's going to light them both against the wall. Takes down the med. Takes down the scout. Oh, my God, Bloodsire. Absolutely amazing pyro play here. Knowing exactly when he's got the opportunity to go in, and that was just huge. Taking down the medic means that there will be no time left for the whales. Uh, there's a little bit of time, but they have to succeed both these pushes down. And can they do it? That's the question. So they may actually want to go in through C again. Um, Blood Siren might be ready for this. Where is he hanging out? He's still hanging out on C. He could still be ready for them. And he might still get another headshot. This could be huge, ladies and gentlemen. He does spot the scout. And he takes down YZ50 again. Oh my god, YZ50 has to be having like the worst game of his life against Blood Siren right now. This is incredible. Um, and that's just going to shut down this push by the whales again. They are going to have to actually go in straight towards B. They're going in through the long entrance now, um, but they're already down a player. And uh, YZ50 calling him Justin. I don't know if that's his actual name. Um, no clue. But it looks like the whales are losing players. They did force an Uber out of Bloodsire. Here comes the crits right now. They take down Tyrone with the crits. They're taking down a bunch of players here. Um, so the, the whales could actually get this. They're going to have to watch out for the actual crits from... Uh, oh my god, the crits from... Who is it? Sizer. My apologies. Sizer with the Frontier Justice crits, helping do a lot of damage. He does take down YZ50. Hitting him with that, uh, that beautiful shotgun right there with his three shots. So I'm sure he's uh, he's feeling pretty good about this too. LG's actually holding out quite a bit here, having to lay down another sentry, but I mean, every little sentry that goes up... Oh! Finally, Blaze jumps in and gets an amazing kill there. Going to take down the dispenser as well. Um, Bloodside is swapping back out to Scout. So there's a minute left here. There is enough time for the Whales to win, but uh, nobody has actually clutched it yet. So will the Whales get the clutch victory here, even in the face of an amazing MVP Pyro out of Bloodsire? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I certainly don't, as the Whales are going to be getting the capture on B very quickly, bringing the medic up. They've got 50 seconds. They've got enough time to slow it up, get the uber, push in, get on the point, and then get the capture. They need to get the kills, though, and that's going to be tough against an engineer and a heavy setup. Uh, it's, it's very, very turtle-friendly here, this last point. Uh, the heavy is already on point C. The entrance is going to be coming in pretty soon. Uh, both teams are going to pop an uber. Actually, it's a crits coming out of soup. Dummy's going to lay down maybe one more crit sticky. Can he do it? He doesn't spot him, he really wants to hit. And now it's Ty Sizer, Tyrone, and Banny all getting kills. Dummy just jump up here to the point but cannot quite finish it off. Boomer's one of the only ones left, and LG, I think they've held it. 20 seconds left to go. Why he's going to try to jump up. He's taking some hits. Uh, he does not have a lot of health left, and he is going to go for the kill. Actually, he gets the kill on Shade, and going to go for Sizer as well. Can't finish him off, though. And 10 seconds left to go. Your winners of this game, Leviathan Gaming, using Bloodsire on backup. And I got to tell you, Bloodsire 
fierce, so fierce on the off classes this game. Utterly amazing. That is the victory for Leviathan Gaming. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this recast of an invite game here with Salamancer on Sal TV. I hope you hit subscribe. I hope you like the games, and I hope to see you next time.